and I'm feeling, I am feeling. Now, at first I was in embracing my little fro. Now I'm definitely feeling and embracing my little fro. It's super cute. What do you guys think? Comment down below how y'all like my little fro. She's cute. She's popping or whatever, right? Good morning, oh, it's not, or good afternoon. But hello, welcome to Astronauts, back to the channel. It's your girl Asha Kosh, back with another video. If you're new to my channel, hey, what's up? It's your girl Asha. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. So I am taking out my braids because I'm getting my hair done. I'm going to the hair salon, to my hairstylist, to get a shampoo, a hydro treatment, a curly cut, and then uh, she's gonna do a strangling method on my head. Last night, I just wanted to see how my hair was, to see my curl pattern, and girl, that big chop might be where it's at because my curls are so, so defined. They're just popping more, and I'm like, this is what I was missing. That's why I cut my hair because my hair wasn't curling up like it used to. It was very dead and dry. And it was my fault. It was for like putting heat on it and just not taking care of it enough. But now that I have this new, new version hair, you know, I'm gonna take care of it. And I really want my fro to be like massive and like, you know, defined and pretty. So I'm gonna really try to take care of it this time. And I'm still gonna, and the reason how it grew long, like I've been growing it out since I cut it in July, 2020, this is what it was in June, 2020. And this is what it is was in tw July, 2020. So I cut it in July and that's how short it was. And I guess you guys can see how long it is now. And what I used to like grow out my hair, the main things I use this wild hair growing oil, wild growth hair oil. And I also use the patterns, the Jehovah oil hair serum. I was using this. And I also use some other hair growing oil. I got this at the, um, the hair museum in Atlanta. I'll drop some pictures of me there. And I got that while there is hair. It's like um, the same thing with hair, growing your hair out oil. So yeah, I got that there too. And I just been keeping it in um, protective styles. I've been wearing wigs. You guys see my wigs that I've been wearing. If you guys, I just did a wig video on like a, a wig that I just, I recommend. I've been ha I had it for like two months or I had it in for a month. And I just be wearing like different wigs every month to like grow my hair in braids. And because it's at that awkward length, so that's why I'm doing that, which I'm fine with. I'll keep wearing my protective styles until, you know, it's back to where it needs to be. Yeah, this is so uneven, so hopefully she'll make it even so it looks better, even though I look like a, a little boy, but I'll be a cute little boy for now. That's just crazy to me. Like, like it's long, it touch, like this part touches my chin, my, um, neck bone and then this period that's growth you guys that's how you grow your hair out okay we got to get back to that big fro i used to have like real soon real real really soon like probably in the, the year it probably be like back to like this i'm, I'm thinking so the next 2020 2020, 
this is gonna be a monstrous year for the throws. I can't wait. But the growth here is amazing. So it's all out. This is what my hair looks like straight out of those braids. I'm about to jump in the shower. I'm not gonna wash it because like I said, she's gonna shampoo it and hydro treatment it while I'm there. But I just wanna show you guys before I went to my appointment what it was looking like. So hopefully I'll have all these red ends cut out and we'll get a good shape, but it's super cute, right? But I wanted to have like a shape to it. Cause it really doesn't. Something. I don't know what I'm looking for, but hopefully she'll help me find it. I can't wait to see what it looks like when we're finished. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys, I'm back and my hair is done. So look at my hair. All that red is in out. This is virgin hair, you guys. I have not done anything to my hair. So this is, I guess, my natural hair color, which is like damn near jet black. Like this is, I got some dark, but my hair is black. No cap, like, right? I think so, like jet black, damn near. Uh, what y'all think? And how do you guys like my hair? How do you guys like how it turned out? She did the defining curl technique. She washed it, shampooed it. She put a hydro treatment on it um, where I was under a steamer. Um, and then I also got it cut. And then she used like um, palm mixtures and like this gel to like basically curl all every individual curl in my hair. Um, this is my first time ever doing something like that. And then I was under the dryer after she did that. Other than that, yeah, that's all she did to my hair. I mean, my curls are still juicy and jumping. I really enjoyed um, just having somebody cut my hair, seeing, like, you know, the growth. And also, like, starting off very, very new and fresh with, like, an actual, like, good good chop where it's like only healthy hair is left only you know the top tier pieces survived and like she was saying she thinks my hair got even thicker i also agree my hair got super thick and also we both agreed that like as somebody that has been natural my whole entire life i've never got a perm my whole life i never did anything too dramatic other than the dyeing and straightening my hair which is what led me to cut it but i never since then i never had like a restart on my hair i never like cut my hair like i've cut my hair to a bob but i never like cut it shorter than that to like see like like some get some new like new hair on my head i've had like the old well i know it's it was been old but you know it's got cut but you know what i'm saying like new new like new new so this is cool to have like new growth in here to see how my hair is growing and see how it's gonna change and be for like the next stage of my life and I'm feeling I am feeling now at first I wasn't embracing my little fro now I'm definitely feeling and embracing my little fro it's super cute what do you guys think comment down below how y'all like my little fro she's cute she's popping a web right right she's she's got her shape now She's not, you know, she's cool. She's Gucci. So, um, yeah, and you guys, if you guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, that's how I grew my hair out. Um, while I'm here and I am about to go to sleep, I have no friends and no boyfriend. So like I had nothing, like I have nothing else to do tonight. So I'm going to put it in like a way. Like, I just wanna put it where it won't like i can still put my bonnet on of course i could just put my bonnet bonnet on but i've always been the type to stretch out my curls at night and just you know i'm thinking about bitch. i just want to play with it now like i didn't know i could do that that's cute but i'm gonna try to put like a whole bunch of like hair ties because usually when i go to sleep at night i put hair like one huge hair tie but clearly we're not doing that tonight because I don't have enough hair to do all of that. But, like, I just didn't know. 
I could do that. And I got a little puff for real. Like, stop playing. Like if I wanted to like, like what? And then look at my curls, they're like healthy. Like I got help on mine, cause health is wealth, okay? I have healthy curls now. Imagine what it used to be and imagine what it's about to be. Like I thought my hair was thick back then, but B, but B, you, you, Shawty didn't know the half. And then hopefully tomorrow I can do the um bussy. The bussy challenge. You going crazy. You know? Bussy. Bussy. Bussy challenge. Well, thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. I have a great time with my life. And I want to share it. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, uh, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us.